Yeah, I'm excited. All right, we're about 15 minutes away. Okay, I'll see you then. All right, bye. Your tie's crooked. Why did you text me, hey, dickhead? It's just reminding you that I'm actually here. You excited about tonight? <laughs> I mean, it's pretty awkward we're nominated in the same category. I just can't wait to get to the award ceremony and get it over with. Such enthusiasm. You stand in mind tonight. So I'm guessing you don't want me to go down on you on the way to the ceremony? Jesus, King, shut up. Don't say shit like that when we're out in public. It's a joke. I'm not a dick, mate. Smoke in the car. Why? <sighs> Don't fucking do anything anywhere anymore. And we're going the wrong way. Sorry, driver, excuse me. I think you're taking us like the longest way possible. I'm just following your friend's directions, sir. I can take a different direction if you like. No, no, it's okay. Just keep going this way. It's all right, Kate. We're picking up along the way. It's in like picking up. No, we're not picking up fucking weed. All good, boys. Yeah, we're all good. Sorry, what, what was your name? David. Yeah, we're all good, Dave. That's disappointing. Do you have any weed, David? <laughs> if it was the late 90s, then that'd be a yes, but unfortunately, no. What if he recognizes us? And it leaks that we hit up a driver for weed. Hey, Dave. Yes, sir. Do you know who we are? Should I know? See, no idea. We're nobody special. Nobody special it is, then. There's complimentary snacks in the center console if you want something to eat. Now, who or what are we picking up? Are you gonna be like this all the way down? Like what? Yeah, <laughs> like this. I'm just gonna sit here and quietly eat my fucking carbs. <laughs> You're gonna get fat. I'd rather be fat than be a cunt. Yeah, you're, gonna, you're gonna lose everything this way. What's that even true? Yeah. We have everything to lose. I'm not gonna be one of those actors who just almost made it, who almost had a career. Man, that's not good enough for me. There's nothing wrong with wanting more. Yeah, you can't have your cake and eat it too. Think of all those carbs you fat mole. Tonight's supposed to be a celebration. <laughs> yeah, no way to celebrate this. These are not the dicks you were looking for. Dual wheel. You just can't act normal, can you? For once, I'm just asking, can you act normal for once? What have you become? What are you... Let's not pretend that I didn't know you before you were famous. Oh, yeah, and then you're the one who gets recognized every time we go out. Oh, look, she's jealous. You're such a hypocrite, man. You want the career and you want the exposure, but you don't want to play the game. Quick, check your Insta, see which one of us has more followers. Oh, okay. Oh, I do. You post shit like four times a year. I'm sure you'll accidentally drop like a dick pic or something like that if my followers outnumber yours after I win tonight. <laughs> Why is this all such a joke to you? Would it really hurt our careers if people knew? Yes! It, it would bring my career it would bring our careers to a crashing halt. Man, I'm, I'm gonna have a wife and kids one day. That'll be fucking weird. <laughs> you better get used to it. Why did you insist on picking me up? 
I wanted to talk to you. Let me guess. Our agent had a quiet word with you and asked you to keep me in line tonight, make sure I keep everything as fake as I possibly can. Our agent has concerns. For me. For you. Yeah, that if you win the award tonight, I'll come charging out of the closet and you'll be guilty by association. She said that you wouldn't even let her write a speech for you. Are you genuinely freaked out that I might thank you in my speech? You keep having these slip-ups, man. You've been saying some cryptic ass shit to reporters. You know, this, this media stuff, it's just like acting. You gotta stick to the fucking script. No. Well, what kind of a script has the team written for us tonight? Okay. So, we're gonna meet Andre before the red carpet and he's gonna prep us on what's gonna happen. He's gonna tell us who to talk to, who to get photographed with, and so on. And now you mean, you mean Andrew? You've been told a million fucking times his name has been legally changed to Andre. I don't need or want to be prepped, let alone by fucking Andrew. If I knew you'd be difficult, man. And that's why I had to drop this on you last minute. So I guess we're not gonna be holding hands on the red carpet then? Look, I just want to make it super clear that I'm straight now. Well, you didn't seem overly straight last night when my dick was in your mouth. <laughs> Look at me like that. Are you guys all good back there? Yeah. Yeah, we're all good. Um, we're just talking about the footy. And bitches. I like football. Used to play all the time back home. I was obsessed by it at one point. I'd still be playing now if the old body hadn't let me down, you know. It's funny how life works like that. One minute you're the top of your game. The next, you're driving a car full of strangers. Into the city. So, who do you follow? Follow? Yeah, in football. What team? The... The blue team. The blue... <laughs> I like the blue team too. Not too far to your destination, yeah. Brilliant. Thank you. Listen. This is important. Man, I've got a huge announcement going on my Twitter feed tonight, just before we hit the red carpet. Yeah. Yeah. Why don't you tweet a picture of this? Hashtag no homo. Why are you such a faggot? Keep going like this, man. I'm gonna stop the car. I'm gonna get out. It's gonna look pretty fucking gay if you stop the car and storm out like a little bitch. Brit. Brit Wolf. That's who we're picking up, Brit. And you know what? She's the best thing for my career at the moment. So you're gonna fuck some girl again? To try and be popular and stop her little secrets from spilling out? Yeah, my career means nothing to you, does it? It's always about you, isn't it? Yes! My career comes first. You're a fucking sellout. <laughs> I know it's not what you wanna hear. But Brit and I, we're back together. And it's gonna be announced just before we hit the red carpet tonight. And you know what? I was gonna wait until after the show. I bet she cost the agency a fortune. Look, we're getting this car to pre-drinks at some producer's house. And she's casting at the moment. So I can't have your bleeding heart fuck this up. Then we're getting separately most of the event. Hand me a speech. I didn't write one. Bullshit. I... It's just notes. So hand it to me. No! It's a speech! Who wrote this for you? This is a fucking orchestrated PR move. Everything in your life's mapped out for you. I'm just looking for a mention of me and there's fucking nothing. 
Yeah, show me your speech. I didn't write anything. Maybe we were wrong about you coming out tonight. Yeah, maybe I have nothing to say. All right, boys, here we are. You know, I'd, I just wanted this to be <laughs> goodbye, you know, to, to what we had, to whatever we had, properly. This has just been going on for way too long. Look, I think it's probably best for me to skip the pre-drinks. Um, I'm not really in the mood for talking to industry people. Small talk. Let's catch up with you later at the event. Yeah, I, I think that'd be best. Don't forget to meet Andre for prep. All right? And don't be late. Tonight, it's about the film. It's not about you. Hey, tell Andrew I can't wait. Where to now, sir? Um, just back to where you picked me up from, if that's okay. I can wait there for you if you want to head back and tell me. Just home for me. I think that'll be the end of the night. Someplace safe for later. I knew it. Thank you. your film, by the way. You're a much better actor than your friend. <laughs>